Hey guys, I am back. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, I have a few things I'm really excited to share with you guys today. So this is about a different form of detoxing. I know it is very important for us to detox after explanting when it comes to what we are putting in our body food wise. But a little light bulb went off in my head and I thought about other things that we kind of that we put in our body every single day. And it all started with a Facebook message from an old friend from high school. And she kind of asked me more about BII. And after our conversation and sharing my story with her, I saw that she worked for Beauty Counter. And I have heard of Beauty Counter before. I was invited to an event they were having a while ago, which I couldn't attend. And I don't know much about it, so I kind of asked her, you know, what is Beauty Counter? I see that you work for them. And she gave me the whole spiel. And I immediately just became obsessed. To me, I feel like Beauty Counter is a movement, just like BII is a movement. A little bit about them is that they are out of Santa Monica. They actually have a pop-up shop in Santa Monica. And really, they lobby for better and safer beauty laws. So what their goal is is just put safer products in the hands of consumers, which I feel like is really great. And one thing that really stood out to me was what they call their never list. So it's over 1,500 harmful or questionable chemicals that they promise to never use in their products. And that's makeup, skincare, kids products, and men's products. So that to me is huge just because after explanting, I have found out that a lot of the everyday products that we use, whether it's makeup, lotion, sunscreen, cleaning supplies, anything, it literally takes anything that we put on our biggest organ, which is our body, 90 seconds to get into our bloodstream. Okay, well a lot of those chemicals that are like in makeup and shampoos, conditioners, lotions, and whatever else, have some of the same chemicals that are in our implants. So in my head, I'm just like, what's the point of explanting when I'm going to be poisoning myself and putting those chemicals back into my bloodstream? That does not sit well with me. So I really just started thinking about what I use every single day, what my family uses every single day, and I was like, something has to change. And a couple things that have stood out to me besides the never list was just things that I've been learning along the way, things that Beauty Counter has actually been educating me on. One thing was that 30 years ago, one in every 20 women were diagnosed with breast cancer. Today, it's one in every eight. Every one in 10 women that are diagnosed, the one out of 10 carries the BRCA gene, which means the rest, their breast cancer, is literally from environmental. So it's like environmental cancer is literally on the rise right now, which is so scary, which means it's from products that we use every single day that we just don't think about. I just feel like something needs to change. And I feel like Beauty Counter, they work so hard to make that change. And this is something I want to educate my family about, my friends about, I mean, the people I love and you guys, because I really wish I knew about these products while I was going through BII. I was literally putting more chemicals into my body that were harming it when I was already sick, which makes me just really upset to think about. And now that I have a second chance and I'm healthy again, and I've gotten the whole explant out of the way and I'm feeling great, the last thing I wanna do is harm my body in any other way. I feel like going through BII is literally a huge wake up call and it's, it's saying, beware. Like, beware of what you put in your body and really think about what you put in your body before you do. So, with Beauty Counter, I started with their skincare quiz, which I have most people start with. I feel like that's really important. I'm not telling everyone to go grab a big black garbage bag, right? And just clean out your whole house and throw everything away because that would be a lot of money wasted. So my best advice is to start with your skincare regimen. Your skin is so important. We go through 
so much when it comes to our skin with BII. I've shared my body rashes, the hives, the hyperpigmentation I went through. So my skin needs a lot of healing. So that's what I'm focusing on right now for myself. So after taking the skincare quiz, I have now switched my skincare regimen to Beauty Counter. I have always used a bar of ivory soap. That's it, <laughs> like my whole life. So I kind of owe myself to switch it up and use something a lot better and just really take care of my skin now. So I switched out my ivory soap. Since I'm used to using a bar, I switched it out for a bar, but one that's actually gonna benefit my skin. So I switched to Beauty Counters Charcoal Bar, which is just like this, just a black charcoal bar. So I start with this for washing. And I wanted to do the unboxing with you guys so you can see everything. Actually, I'll just put it up like this. And then after washing, and this is the counter match um, skin regimen, by the way. This is what was recommended for what I need, which is a lot of hydration because my skin was so, so dry while I was going through BII. Um, after explanting, it was the first time in years I started feeling my natural oils come back. It was crazy. I can literally smell it when I would like rub my head. I can smell the oil on my fingers. It was nuts. And I started just like touching my nose like, what is this? Like, I've never felt oil on my face. Um, but it was so strong, I can literally smell it. It's nuts. So, wash with the charcoal bar, and then I use the Intense Moisture Serum right after. A little goes a long way, so I just literally need a small pump, and their packaging is so beautiful. So this is the serum that goes on right after. And then for night, I use a recovery sleeping cream. Oops. And I love, I love all their pumps and everything. Like this, you press down and it just comes out this little hole on top. So that is my moisturizer for night. And then this is the brightening facial oil. Sometimes I do use this at night, like under my night cream, but it's usually I use for day. So. Nighttime regimen, wash with charcoal bar, facial serum, night cream. And for day, it's charcoal bar, serum, four to six drops of the brightening facial oil. And then for my moisturizer during the day, I use the adaptive moisture lotion. And I'm just gonna read this off the box. I love this. It says, this lightweight lotion helps skin adapt to ever-changing aggressors of modern, of modern life by adjusting hydration and oxygenation levels throughout the day. So it literally adjusts with whatever your face is going through throughout the day. It's a harsh world out there. Some harsh things hit me on the face, you know? So this is my new skincare regimen, which is the counter match regimen. And I've also ordered the facial mask, the balancing and charcoal facial mask and the overnight resurfacing pill. So I'm excited to try these guys out, but this right here has made all the world difference. My face is clearing up so much. It feels so good. It's hydrated. I don't feel like a freaking crocodile after I wash my face. My skin used to literally just shrivel and just feel so dry. And for all of you ladies who are going through your BII journey, you know our hair also takes a toll. So it's something I also wanted to start right away. Um, was shampoo and conditioner. So I have not tried these guys out yet. I'm just waiting for my stuff to run out. But once I do, I'm switching to Beauty Encounters shampoo and conditioner. We have lost so much hair while going through this journey and it does get better. I actually had a woman DM me asking me if it does get better and it does. I was losing multiple handfuls, handfuls and handfuls of hair throughout um, during my showers. And now I'm only losing a few strands. So it does get better, you just have to give your hair time, just like you have to give your body time to heal. Everything is healing, so just remember that. So, my skin and hair are the two things that I am starting with. I think it's really important to just get this out there, let you guys know what I'm using. Since you guys have been asking, I literally look at this like another form of detoxing, and that's how we have to look at it, because so many things out there have very, very harmful chemicals. 
I mean, chemicals that we should not be putting back into our body after explanting. So that's just really something to think about that I never thought about before and is really important for me and my whole family. So one way to do this, you can take the skincare quiz just like I did. Um, should be able to put the link up for you guys. You should be able to click on that. Do the skincare quiz, see which regimen Beauty Counter recommends for you. And the one thing I've noticed, some women want to maybe try the night cream by itself, or maybe they just want to order the facial oil. But I feel like it's a regimen for a reason. I feel like everything works and you're going to get the best result if you use everything together and the steps you're supposed to use them. You know what I mean? So I would go with a whole regimen if that's what you want to start with first and then maybe get shampoo, conditioner or the peel later. And what's great about Beauty Counter is that they have a 60 day money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you can return them, but I guarantee you'll be satisfied because I am very satisfied and I love how my skin feels. So I should be able to put a link up for you guys and I wish I would have posted this earlier. Hopefully you can catch the deal if you can. Beauty Counter is doing a Memorial Day promo where if you spend $125, you get two free sunscreens, which is awesome. I don't know if you guys saw my sunscreen article that I posted. It was a CNN article saying that pretty much all sunscreens are, I mean, there's nothing good in them. There's nothing really safe about them and once you spray sunscreen on your body it takes 90 seconds like anything else to get into your bloodstream and then literally sits in your body those chemicals linger in you for 24 hours after spraying it on your body so just really think about that you sit spray sunscreen on and it sits in your body for 24 hours after all right so that is what i have for you guys today i hope you have a awesome memorial day weekend and until next time checking in checking out